We are at 470W and the uh, snap rings broke. Actually both ends are broke off. A lot of times if just one end is broke off I can uh, push down on it, get my snap ring pliers in there and pop it out. But uh, definitely can't do that when both sides are popped out. So I'm going to drive this back around. where we got that opening open right there and if you don't have this you can uh, do it any way that you feel it you can get that servo pressed down this is the tool I made out of the 350 low reverse tool to <coughs> push the servo in If you're interested in how to modify yours, you can watch the 470 rebuild video and that will tell you everything you need to know in there. Alright, we're going to push that down. And see if we got enough room. Yep, yeah, we do. A lot of times when you have the uh, new disc on here you ain't got enough room so we're just gonna open this up That's enough. And drive this back around. Get up underneath it there. There we go. There we go. what happens when that clip breaks either that clip or that e-clip on top of the servo this uh, valve will be stuck back just like that a piece of that will be stuck down inside and right in here I think it's that passage or this passage anyway one of these passages I uh, have this valve blocked back I think it's this passage right here <coughs> And when it does that, uh, you have a 3, 4 neutral shift. As soon as it tries to shift the fourth, it'll neutral out. This one didn't do that, but this valve over here is hung. And uh, it was causing some forward engagement issues. So we're going to resize the bore. We've got our Sinax resize, bore resizing tool. We'll fix that.